Hello everybody. Hi, my name is Louise. Hamstring and hips flow here. Roll the shoulders back, move the flesh away from the sitting bones. Sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes, hands to the heart. Take some nice, slow, deep breaths. Om Shri Gurabhyo Namaha Harihi Om. Namaste, everybody. You can bring your hands down on your thighs. Slow inhalation and slow exhalation. Inhale slowly. Exhale deeply. Inhalate your fingers in front of your chest. Reach the arms up towards the sky. Palms facing up. You can circle the arms around. And you can switch direction as well. Go to the right. Go to the left. Go front. Go back. We'll take a twist to the right side with the right hand behind, the left hand across the right leg. And lift the chest up over the shoulders, down the back. Come back to center, take it to the other side. The left hand's behind you, right hand across. Breath in and breath out. You're lifting the chest up over the shoulders, down the back. You're lifting the left side chest, the right side chest. Come back to center, uncross the legs, cross the other leg in front. Inlace to the other index on top, roll the hands up towards the sky. Lengthen up the inner elbows, the outer elbows, stretch up. Deep breath in and out. Take your right hand out to the right, reach the left arm over the head. You move the arm a little bit back and forth here. Take the left hand out to the left and again, move the upper right hand a little forward, a little backwards. Breathing in and breathing out. Come on up, we'll twist over to the right side. And also turn your left palm out so the back of the hand is against the outer leg. The right hand maybe even come behind the lower back into the inner left hip crease. Twisting over to the left side, the back of the left hand against the outer leg. The back of the right hand, excuse me, against the outer left leg as the left hand is behind the lower back. Breathe here. Yeah. Come back to center. We're going to go ahead and lie down on our back. Take your arms behind the head and then reach them out to the right side. Maybe the right leg can extend out. Come back down, inhale. To the left side, maybe both legs can extend outwardly. Inhale, back down. Up and over to the right side. Again, right leg up, left leg forward. Coming down as you inhale. As you come up, take it to the left side now, twisting. Inhale, back down. Exhale, up and over to the right. Inhale to release. Exhale, up and over to the left. Inhale to release. Up over to the right. Inhale to release. Up and over to the left. Inhale as you release. Exhale to the right. Inhale to release. Exhale to the left. 
Inhale to release. Exhale to the right. Inhale, release. Exhale to the left. Inhale, and down. Exhale, up and over. Lift those shoulder blades to the right. Inhale, down. Up and over to the left. Inhale, down. Up and over to the right. Inhale, down. Now the last one to the left as you exhale. Inhale, down. Now this time, bring the legs, excuse me, hands in between the legs as you come forward. And lower back down. And lift the hips up into bridge. Inhale, roll it back down. Exhale, lift the feet, lift the arms and head and chest. Inhale to lower down. Lift the hips up into bridge. Lower back down, lift the arms, head, chest, and then see if you lift your torso almost as you lower down. Lift the hips up. Exhale again, lift the arms, head, chest, maybe your legs, and lower down, inhale into bridge. Rolling down, lift the arms, head, chest, and legs, and lower down, inhale, lift the hips. Couple more, you exhale, lift up, arms, head, chest, and legs. Inhale, lower down, lift the hips up. Exhale, lift the arms, head, chest, and legs. Inhale. Exhale again, lift the arms, head, chest, and legs. Now stay up with the hands together, knee, elbow to the right and elbow to the left. Elbow to the right and elbow to the left. Elbow to the right, the knees a little bent. Elbow to the left, elbows to the right. Elbows to the left. Good. Elbow to the right again. Now hands to the right side as you lift your legs up and then bring the hands over to the left. Try to lift the hips up. Again, the hands goes to the right. You try to lift the hips up. The hands goes up and over to your left and you try to lift those hips up. Arms goes to the right. And also lift the left foot. Arms goes to the left and see if we can lift the right foot. Again, arms goes to the right, see if we can lift up the left foot. And arms goes to the left, see if we can lift up the right foot. One more, arms goes to the right, see if we can lift up the left foot. Arms goes to the left and see if you can lift up the right foot. Good. Release. Shake out your hands a bit. Now bend the right knee. Take the left elbow. Cross it. Plant the right foot as you turn towards the back of the room. The back of your mat. Inhaling and exhaling. Slowly in and out. Good. Switching side, bending into the left knee, and see if we can twist towards the left with the right elbow across or the right elbow outside there. Breathing in, breathing out. Twisting to that left side, breathing in, breathing out. Feel the expansion as you inhale, feel the softness as you exhale. Good. Face the front of the mat. Fold over both of your legs. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Coming up, cross the shins. Come up, up onto all fours. You could turn your hands around and circle a bit on your hands and knees here. Move a little front, move a little back. Some of us can maybe even keep the hands like this, but straighten the legs and bend the knees down and straighten the legs and bend the knees back down. Breathe in and breathe out, slowly and mindful. You can sit back on the heels with the toes tucked. And also see if you can lift the palms up and stretch your fingers. Your elbows a little bent. Fingers are stretching from the wrist down into the palms, into the fingers, breathing here. Good. Now turn the palms up instead so the top of the hand is down and either have your hands flat or make a little fist with your hands and put it down on your mat so they really on the top top of the hand is down 
as you rock a little side to side. You just shake it out. Good. A little puppy stretch. Walking your hands forward, melting the heart down. And then come up from that puppy as you inhale and exhale, melt back down into the puppy. Come round the back and melt the heart down. Maybe inhale here and exhale as you round. And inhale into the puppy. And press as you round, exhale. Again, you inhale into the puppy. You exhale as you round. Inhale into the puppy. Exhale as you round. Once more. You inhale into the puppy. You exhale as you round. And inhale into the puppy. And exhale as you round. Good. Come on up to downward facing dogs. Feels good. You can lift your heels up and down. You can move your knees a little side, hips a little side to side, and bend the knees as much as you like. Good. Setting the forearms down. Come into the right forearm, into your side forearm plank. The hips are facing forward, the inner thighs rolling backwards. Press down through the feet. You can even lift that top left heel a bit. As you reach the left arm forward over the ear. Breathe in and out. Come back to the forearm plank. On the left forearm, reach the right arm over the ear as you lift the right heel, perhaps. Inner thigh roll back, long neck and spine. Good, send the right forearm down. We're going to try to step the right foot outside the right hand elbow and the left foot outside the left elbow. Again, the right foot steps up outside and back and the right foot steps up outside, or the left foot, excuse me. The right foot steps out the left, the elbow there and the left foot steps out the elbow. The right foot steps up outside the right elbow and the left foot steps up outside the left elbow. Again, the right foot outside the right, and the left foot outside the left. Now hold the forearm plank. You can set your knees down. You can set your hips and thighs down, and lengthen down through each leg. So hand stays behind the head. You lift the elbows and head and legs. Lift those elbows, lift the hands, lift those elbows, lift the hands. Lift up a little more, lift up, breathe inside. And release the hands underneath you, windshield wiper the legs with the knees bent, side to side. Hands down beside your hips, roll the shoulder heads back, lift your head up, lift the legs up. The legs, the chest, the hands, even the hands can lift up off the floor. You can reach the hands back. Good. Come back down. Take a little rest. You can roll the shoulders back. Lift the arms. Lift the legs. Lift the chest up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift up a little more. And release back down. Lift your head. Lift the chest. Lift the arms. Lift the legs. And if you can, your fingers are pointing back. You have the palm down. The fingers are pointing back. You may come up to a slight little cobra. Or almost an up dog. In on exhale. Spine moves in and forward and up. Spine moves in, forward and up. Good. You can come down, rest a little. Again, you can lift the chest up. Move that spine in, forward and up. And release back down. Now the fingers can just point forward and then come back into downward dog. Raise the right leg up and back as you inhale. Stretch it back, exhale, hold it there, take another breath, really reach it long. Stretch a little bit extra there, take another breath, and then exhale, step the right foot outside the right hand. 
take it back, three-legged dog. And again, right foot outside the right hand. And then back, three-legged dog. And again, right foot outside the right hand. Take it back, three-legged dog. One more. Right foot is outside the right hand, back to three-legged dog. Good, last one outside the right hand. You may want to sit the left knee down. You might want to reach back with the right hand, catch the left foot, and then drive that left foot a little closer to the buttocks and sit maybe the left forearm down and continue breathing. And reach the chest to the front of the room. Good, now straighten the arms. Spin your left heel down. So you're trying to spin the left heel down so the toes comes up. You spin the toes down, the heel goes up. Heel down, toes up. Toes down, heel up. Just kind of going back and forth like that. Then come into your side lunge, Gandasana. Hands and numbers stay. And then move from the right leg over to the left leg. And then move from the left back up to the right. Face the front of the mat, half split. Flex the toes up, dig into the heel like you're pulling your heel backwards. Drive the chest down. We lift the inner kneecap and the outer kneecap up. Good. Planting your foot and your hands. Walk your hands forward. Standing split. You can have a little bend in the left leg as you reach the chest forward. Inhale out. And you can walk your chest in towards your leg as you lift up the left leg. You lift up the left leg and you lift up the left leg. Take a big step back with the left foot and the right leg back to three-legged dog. Roll the hip open. You can set the left forearm down. Suit the right leg out to the right side and back up to the sky and out to the right side towards your right fingers and back up to the sky. And right leg out to the right side and back up to the sky. I put the foot down. Left leg goes up and back. Deep breath in and out. Really stretch the left leg up and back. Stretch it. Come high on the right toes and stretch and keep the pelvis nice and even. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Pull the knee in and step the foot outside the left hand. So again, we're going to go backwards. Three-legged dog, sweep it back. And again, the left foot outside the left hand. And again, take it back, three-legged dog. And again, outside the left hand. And back. Backwards, and again, outside the left hand. And back, three-legged dog. Outside the left hand. You can sit the right knee down, reach back with the left hand, catch the foot, bring that foot in, maybe put the right form down, breathe in and out. Good, you're going to spin the right heel down, right toes up, right toes down, heel up, right heel down, toes up, toes down, heel up, right heel down, toes up, yes, and find your skandasana. And from your skandasana on the right, left leg, go back over to the right side. Back to the front of the mat. Straighten out the leg, half split. Lift the tummy up and away from the leg. Fold out over the leg. Breathe into where you feel the tightness and the stiffness. Good. All right, you can come forward into like a standing split. You lengthen forward, come up halfway. 
You fold into the lower left leg and you stretch the right leg up and you stretch the right leg up and you stretch the right leg up even more. Take a big step back, three-legged dog, left leg back, roll the hip open. And you can take your right forearm down, sight the left leg out to the left, down towards your left hand and back up to the sky. And down towards the left hand and back up to the sky. Back down towards the left hand and back up to the sky, yeah. And one more out to the left hand and back up to the sky. Put your foot down, straighten out the elbow and there's your down dog. You're walking the feet a bit. Take the right leg out to the right and left leg out to the left and right leg out to the right and left leg out to the left. And see if you can step in front of each foot, right? You step in front of the foot, so eventually you'll land more on the front of your mat, right? It's going to take a little bit, but inhale, come out halfway. Exhale, fold in, fold in. Press to rise. Inhale, circle the arms overhead. Release the arms, Tadasana. Inhale, lift the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fall forward and down. Inhale, come up halfway. Either jump or step back, chaturanga. Bend the arms, roll through, inhale, up duck. Exhale, down duck. The elbow thighs are moving back. Quads are moving back. The breath goes in and the breath goes out, slowly and mindful. Good. Bend the knees and roll forward. You jump a step to the hands. Inhale, come up halfway. And exhale, fold. Come all the way to standing. Inhale. And reach a little back, release the hands, Samadhiti. Again, inhale, lift the arms up and over. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Jump lightly or step back, Chaturanga. Inhale to either up dog or your cobra pose. And exhale when you're ready to downward dog. Again, it's really important to go in your own pace too. You don't want to speed it up right if you can just slow it down just really go in your own rhythm good right leg out to the right step front left left leg out to the left and step front the right right leg out to the right step front left and you always want to keep stepping in front of each other you know halfway lift Exhale, fold it in. Inhale to stand up, circle the arms overhead. Samasthiti. Again, inhale, lift the arms up and over. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, come up halfway. Jump lightly or step back, Chaturanga. Inhale into up dog or cobra. Exhale to downward dog. Keep holding the thighs back. Like the root of your right thigh and the left thigh is going backwards. The inner arm's getting longer, the outer arm's getting longer. Good, we're going to sit down for a second. You're going to grab your blocks. Good, so you're grabbing your two blocks. Going to be either side of your legs, outside of your, the shins, outer thigh area. Press down to try to lift the knees up. If you can lift your knees up, maybe even try to lift your feet up. Knees and maybe the feet. Yes, knees and maybe the feet. Come back down, do it again. Knees and maybe the feet. Try to lift the knees and maybe the feet. Yeah, a couple more. 
And maybe you can even, if not, you can also try to lift one foot at a time, one foot at a time. Good. So if you come to the front of your mat and you got the blocks on either side of the legs, get a little warm now. And you have the blocks next to the other shin there. And as you press into the hands, lift the knees up and step backwards. Lower chaturanga, push back up to plank, come back in and sit down. So knees are parallel. Again, you're stepping back, you do a little chaturanga, or you just walk your knees in. You don't even have to do chaturanga, really. You just take the legs back, maybe chaturanga if you like. Otherwise, just keep the elbows straight and walk your legs back in. One more. So again, the chaturanga is just an option, right? You don't have to take that. And inhalate your hands behind the back. Some of us can press the palms or the knuckles down into the floor. You lift the chest up and back. Good. So watch, I just have one block now. I mean, you could have two blocks if you really want to, but one block is plenty. Scoot a little bit to the left of your mat, and you take the right arm on the block, so that the forearm is really touching the block on the long way. Block is on the medium height. You roll over and stepping or lengthening the left leg behind you. You keep rolling the right shoulder away from the floor, away from the floor. Good, come back in. You got your block on the left side too. You scoot your block, body a little to the right. Roll over. So you got your right arm, left arm, excuse me, on the block. And the right leg can sweep backwards, either straight or bent. Breathing in and out. Good, come back to center. Upward facing dog as you inhale. Exhale to downward dog. And if you like to play with some bunny hops, right, you're trying to get your hips up over the shoulders, the knees can be bent as much as you like. The legs can even open up wider. Yes. You can use a wall if you need a wall behind your back. You know, come up halfway once you come to the front. Exhale, fold in. Stand all the way up as you inhale. And release the arms. Go ahead and come into a chair pose as you inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, like you jump or walk back to plank. Do the chaturanga up dog or cobra. Exhale to down dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. Spin your left foot down. Inhale your arms up. Look up. Hands to the mat. Keep looking forward as you lower through your chaturanga. Inhale through your upward facing dog. Exhale to downward dog. Left foot forward. Virabhadrasana one. 
Inhale your arms up. Hands to the mat. Through plank up dog. Inhale. And down dog. Right leg back, three leg down dog. Exhale, step the right foot forward. So that you can take your right arm outside the right foot, left foot on, left hand on left side. You're gonna bend the elbows and straighten the arms. You're gonna bend the elbows and straighten the arms. You're gonna bend the elbows and straighten. Make a little push up with the hands apart. So and then stay down for a little bit and then come on back into down dog as we repeat on the second side, left leg back, inhale, exhale, step the left foot outside, left hand. But then take your left hand outside the left foot as you bend into the elbows and straighten the arms and bend into the elbows and straighten the arms and bend into the elbows and straighten the arms and continue bend and straighten and bend and straighten. Maybe you can stay down for a little bit. And slowly come back to your downward dog. Stretch it out for a moment. Now reach the right leg up and back as you inhale. Exhale, knee to the chest. And step the right foot forward between your hands. You're going to spin on the edge of the right foot. And the foot should be in the middle of your mat as you have your hands either side of the foot. You're going to bend the arms and straighten the arms. You're going to bend the arms and straighten. This time the knee will fall out to the right a bit. And you'll be on the edge, the pinky side of the right foot, as the right knee is on the right side. Then you come down and straighten the arms all the way. And then pivot down towards the left leg. So turn your left foot right into a little skandasana. Maybe you sit down behind the heel. And then see if you can get your spine alongside the right leg with your maybe left arm overhead. You're really trying to get the right shoulder in front of the right leg, inside the right leg, and grabbing the left heel or left ankle with the right hand to get a little side stretch. Breathe in, breathe out, and come up right. From the arms to the front of the mat, find your warrior two. Open out to the side. White arms. You're going to spin the right. Take the right hand in front of the right leg. Coming out, step it out. You can walk the left foot a little in. And find your way into your half moon. Check in the right knee still facing forward. And then lengthen the left the left leg and the right leg and or even bend the left knee and grab the ankle with the left hand keeping the right hand a bit down outside to the right side about a foot in front of your leg turn the chest forward move the chest forward like a little back bend like you're kicking your left leg up into the hand Oops, don't mind me. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, slowly straighten the top leg if it's bent. Come on back to your side angle pose. Lengthen out, move the chest forward. Move the right sitting bone in and under and ground into the inner right foot. Really stretch your ribs and lungs forward. Good. Come up and reverse your warrior. So see if you can take your left hand behind you towards the right inner thigh as you take the right arm overhead. Good. Trikonasana triangle. Squeeze the front leg straighter and straighter. Feel free to wiggle the left foot a little in and then Again, elongate the torso forward. Maybe stretch the right leg a teeny bit more. Straighten the knee a teeny bit more. You might even be able to put your right hand down on the mat outside the leg or even on a block. See if with your left hand can you grab the right foot and extend it out towards the front of the room. 
As you let go of the leg, take the right leg on top of the right arm for your kunyasana into your up dog, perhaps, and to your down dog. Left leg goes back as you inhale, stretch. And bring the knee nice and tight into the body. As you're stepping the left foot forward. Again, you're going to spin the on the left pinky side of the foot and the arms on either side of the leg. You bend and straighten the arms. Bend and straighten the arms. You can always set your knee down too to make it a little easier. I lay down for a little bit just to get the stretch. Good. I pivot down towards the right leg as you find your side lunge kandasana. But then also sit down behind the right heel and lay your torso against the left leg. Like you have the shoulder blade in front of the left thigh there, left knee. And you turn your chest up and up and up. Breathe in, breathe out. Continue breathing in and out, find some more length. Keep moving the chest to the front of the room. Coming up, lift that little booty off the floor, come back to warrior. Two on the left side now. Left leg nice and bent, shoulders over your hips, arms nice and open. You roll the right side, chest back, the right shoulder back. Good. Now with the left hand down in front of your right hand on your hip, come on out into half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Ground down into your left foot, right? Elongate up to your left leg. And perhaps you want to bend the top right leg, ch Chapasana, and grab the right ankle. Kick the right leg up, up and up and up. And breathe in, breathe out. Come back to your side angle pose. You get the left hand outside the left pinky. Side of the left foot there as you sweep the right arm overhead. Firm the left body in and under, and ground the inner left heel down. Open the inner thighs. Keep stretching your chest forward. Come on up, slowly reverse your warrior. Just so sweep the right hand behind you, left arm over your head. Trikonasana triangle. Wiggle the right leg a bit in as you put the left hand down. You can also extend the right arm up or keep it behind your back on the inner thigh. So if you flex up your left foot, you can actually grab the pinky side of the foot and extend it out or take it to the inside of the left arm. And lift the leg on top of the left arm as you may come into Kunyasa. Or come up into your chin stand. Almost there. Upward dog. And down dog. Deep breath in and out. A little funky form stand. You're just going to slide the right form down on mat and then left hand slides back so the fingertips are lined up with the right elbow. The left fingertips are lined up with the right elbow. You 
You can always use the wall for that, for that help. So again, I got my right forearm down. I got left fingertips in alignment with the elbow. Let's see here, I'll show you. So the elbow and fingertips are lined up. You want kind of like a square box between the fingertips, the shoulder and hand, arm, like a square box between all that. And then you can put your head in between that. So you got your right, left, right forearm down, left fingertips. If you have a crown head comes down, you can walk it in. Knees into the chest, maybe move the knees over to the left arm. Come back and maybe up to the sky. And drawing the buttocks towards the heels, buttocks to the heels. You can always come back down. So again, you can try that again. Maybe the head off the ground, the head down. Maybe you go upside down, lifting the legs. You can always go to the wall if you need it. And feel free to try on the other side too. Again, if you need to move your mat, just take it up against the wall. You got your left forearm down, right fingertips in alignment with the left elbow. And try to come up. And always take a break and try again, or put your head down and then try to get upside down. Puppy dog stretch. Set your hands down, let the heart melt, or if you like a little more, bend your elbows and take your thumbs towards the back of your head. Melt the heart towards the mat. Pigeon pose, you're doing your right leg forward. Scoot the left thigh knee a little backwards. Buttocks to the floor or put a blanket underneath your hips. Take the spine in, forward and up from that lower back, middle back, lower back. Spine in, forward and up. Maybe even take your arms to the sky or down beside your hips. And rotate the chest up and back, rotate the chest up and back. You can rotate your chest up over the shoulders, down the back. Laying the chest down, or grab the back leg. With the left leg forward, come into either. Try not to bring your hands above the foot, but bring the hands underneath the foot as you bring the foot all the way into the left thigh. You can always reach behind you, catch the foot with the left hand or both hands down in front of you, grabbing on to the left foot. Thy left hand can always reach behind you as well. Excuse, yeah, and grab a hold of the right leg with that left hand. Maybe you take your left foot underneath the right leg, or maybe the left foot on top of the right leg for full lotus. If you have a block, you can bring it behind you and put it in the middle of your mat, back, middle to upper back. 
and lay up over the block. I like to grab onto the elbows, but I like to readjust the box a little bit more where the bra string comes across. And let the legs can relax down like somebody's sitting on the thighs, like you have some weight on your legs, like let that drop downward. Once you come up, uncross the legs, shake them up. And then we got the pigeon on the left side. The right leg goes back. And left shin down in front of you. You can play with maybe walk your hands behind you a bit more as you lift the chest up and back, up and back, up and back. Roll the chest up over the shoulders down the back. Roll the chest up over the shoulders down the back. Okay, you can lie down over the left leg. Or maybe even grab the right foot behind you when you're laying down. Slow, mindful breath. Feel the expansion as you inhale. And softness as you exhale. Good. So again, take when you come up, take the right leg in front of you. And then maybe that left leg comes into your half lotus. Either you grab the foot with the left hand or just take both arms out in front of you. Laying the shin bone into the mat and the hamstring into the mat. Now come on up to so switching arms. The right hand comes behind you now, grabs the inner left thigh or so. Maybe the shin bone as the left hand grabs the right foot. Twisting and turning. If you like to do a full lotus, you can again take the right foot on top of the left and lie down, putting the block down. Or well, the bra string will be right in the middle back or so. Feel free to grab onto the feet or just let the arms hang back behind you. You can also put something underneath your head like a blanket if you need to. Come up slowly, release the legs out, shake them out. We're going to lie down on our back, plant the feet. You can always grab the block and put underneath your pelvis on the medium height. You want to put it by the bony part of your sacrum is. You can also put it on the third height. Again, the bony part of your sacrum. Pull the shoulders and arms under. You want to go further, you can put your hands by the shoulders and come up on the crown of the head and push yourself up into your full Urdhva Dhanurasana. I like to put my right ankle over my left thigh in figure, figure four. 
in the wheel pose to lengthen that lower leg. And you can also switch side. Feel free to do that a couple more times on each leg. As you put the heel on cross, you can really try to lengthen that lower leg. And breathe in and out. Maybe come down when you're done. You can rest on the block. The hips be heavy on the block. If you want to do it again, maybe hands up by the shoulders there, and then you just push yourself up and stretch out one leg at a time while you put the ankle across and switching side afterwards. Push and lengthen. Push and lengthen. And then you just come down, take rest. I like to extend my legs forward and flex the toes up towards the sky. If that's too much, you can do one leg at a time or keep both feet just planted on the mat. So just lie down on your back without the block. Hug your right knee into the chest and lengthen the left leg down the mat. And switch legs. So I get your forehead to your knee. And switch and get your forehead to your knee. Both knees to the left side as you're twisting. Open up the right arm. Or even wrap the top leg, the right leg around the left. Create some space around the shoulder blade so that you really can lie down as you're twisting here. Yeah. And little by little, switch to the other side. Wrap the left leg up over the right. Open up the left arm. Breathe slowly and mindful. Happy baby when you come back. Grab the outer heels of feet or so on. You can also slide the hands on the inside. Grab the inner heels, ankles, and try to get your toes to the mat ground. And still keep the spine long. Letting your body relax and rest for the final pose here, Shavasana. Shoulder bits down the back.
slowly awaken. Of course, you can always stay longer, but if you're ready to move on, start to wiggle your toes and fingers, perhaps even bend the knees and plant your feet and you can roll over to a little fetal pose. You can push into the top hand and come on up to seated, crossing the legs. Om Shri Gurabhyo Namahari Om Akanda Mandavakaram Yattam Yena Chra Chram Tatparam Dashidam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Lots and lots of love for everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for doing the work. Lots of love. Namaste. Have a good day. Bye, everybody.